Ratu, another year at Scotstoun. You must be pretty happy with that. Yeah, pretty wrapped to be staying on and um, you know, pretty excited uh, to continue learning um, under the new coaching staff as well. So, yeah, pretty happy. Speaking about the coaching staff, pre-season starts today and then Dave Rennie's coming in. How excited are you to, to get to work with those guys? Um, yeah, it's, you know, um, I think uh, his coaching you know, record speaks for itself, so it's phenomenal to be, you know, to be able to learn under someone like that. So for now, it's just getting through this Mo Farah that we've got to get through in a bit and um, just doing everything we can, you know, to best prep ourselves for not just him coming back, but uh, all the senior boys coming back from uh, the summer tours. Are you looking forward to being pinned through your paces at pre-season the next few weeks? Um, mate, uh, <laughs> I don't think it's ever really, you know, an enjoyable thing, but, um, you know, it's a, it's a chance to grow, get stronger, get fitter, and from everything that, uh, you know, George was saying, that's a big aim, so... Um, pretty excited about that, just to you know better ourselves uh, in this block leading up to sort of everyone coming back on board. So yeah, pretty excited about that. You must have enjoyed yourself in your first few months here. If you if you decide to stay on, what what were your highlights in your time here so far? Um, mate, just um, being you know um, embroiled in new culture, a uh, new way of uh, life. It's it's quite different from being back in Australia. So um, everyone's been you know so welcoming and. Um, just the opportunity to you know to continue to learn under you know some really good coaching staff you know um, a lot of those you know staff have moved on but you know we've got uh, some you know phenomenal coaching staff coming in as well so that's a, that's a big thing is to just continue learning and growing. That home day view must stick in the mind. Going to try, what was it like playing in front of that Scotsman crowd? It was the buzz really. Um, just running on and the crowd just sort of went off and um, sort of topped it off with, with with a try. I think it was on the first touch as well. So. Um, yeah, to get an opportunity like that was uh, pretty phenomenal. So just working towards, uh, you know, um, doing the same and uh, working towards getting another opportunity to to show what it can do. You you kind of shared your time between the Warriors and Curry. What have you learned playing the BT Premiership, and how much do you enjoy getting to know those boys over there as well? Mate, good uh, good <laughs> uh, group of lads. Um, you know, um, enjoy it's you know quite a trek to go out, but it's a uh, you know enjoyable um, you know uh, group of guys to. to to hang and play with, so um, you know it's a bit of a balance to try to work, you know, between the load of uh, the Warriors and getting back to club rugby. But um, just really enjoying it, and it makes it you know uh, a lot easier with a, a club and a group of guys that you enjoy playing with. And you seem to really enjoy playing with some of the guys here. Are there any individuals that have really, <laughs> really bonded with in your time here so far? <laughs> I think it's quite obvious. Uh, <laughs> big, uh, big Brizzies, uh, <laughs> quite, uh, quite fond of, and uh, you know, quite close with. So. Um, yeah, it was quite funny as well on that try, <laughs> try that um, that I scored. Uh, Pete Horn sort of kicked it and it went over his head and <laughs> just straight into my arms. And we sort of have a bit of a running joke that um, he was uh, pretty gutted and <laughs> that it didn't go to him. So no, I quite enjoy playing with with the big man. Do you think he could have applied the finish or made the catch? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably would have <laughs> finished it off with a big swan dive or something like that. But. Um, yeah, I don't think he was lucky enough to, to, to get one, the, the big man, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, that that's probably feels a bit like I took that one off him. <laughs> and then playing in the BT Premiership, how does that how does that compare to your experience of the Pro 12? Um, mate, it's, uh, you know, it's a good, um, you know, sort of grassroots um, uh, level to, um, you know, continue to have some consistency and play at. So um, to come in, you know, you know having you know, week-to-week game time is... Uh, I think it's it's important for you know for myself. Um, so coming straight into you know uh, the team when uh, when I did, um, it's just a matter of just continuing to do you know, the things that doing at club level, but you know at a even higher and you know faster pace. And I guess it makes it easier just you know rolling into the team, just doing your job, um, which is you know, makes my life easy. Just worrying about just doing one thing, just catch and run. <laughs> and yeah, you're, you're settled in Glasgow. You enjoy living in the city. Yeah, really enjoying it here. Um, yeah, we uh, wanted to stay on, you know, um, and just really grateful to be able to have the opportunity. So really enjoying it. My partners are enjoying it. So, yeah, just loving life here, which is great.